What's up, guys? So I'm going to give you two scenarios. So one, if you're trying to manifest a new relationship. And the second one, if you're trying to get back with a past person. Okay, so I'm going to go with the past person first. If you guys broke up and you feel like it's a soulmate, you feel like you're destined to be with this person in this lifetime, then that means that you guys have to give yourself the necessary time to heal because healing is the most important thing within a love connection okay when both of you guys are doing the internal work when both of you guys are taking the necessary steps to elevate yourselves then when the karmic cycle is over then you will get back into union you guys will have a lifetime together you know setting up proper boundaries respecting each other and yada yada okay but if you guys get back with each other before the karmic cycle is due, then it's not going to work, okay? Because you guys didn't take the necessary steps to heal, and those are just the laws of the universe, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. That's just what it is. That's why you see a lot of relationships failing, because they don't understand each other because they haven't done the necessary healing, okay? Now you're trying to manifest a new relationship into your life, then you have to heal, um, you have to put in the work in yourself. You have to love yourself. Self-love is the most important one to attract a new person into your life, okay? But if you're focused on external factors, meaning if you're focused on, you know, people like, like, oh, why aren't people hitting me up? Or why are pe the wrong people hitting me up? Then because you're attracting all these people or you're just being um, a little bit desperate, or, and it sounds bad, but that's kind of what it is, right? Like, when we're not being patient, um, you're not taking the time for yourself, right? Like, if there are things that you've been wanting to do that you've been holding back on because maybe you were in a toxic relationship and you didn't get to do that, this is the time when you can focus on yourself. This is a time when you can cut back maybe, like, on sugar. Maybe you wanted to work out more. Maybe you wanted to read or learn about a new topic, Maybe you wanted to do, um, go on adventures more, okay? All these things are going to play a role in your healing journey, in your self-love journey, in the way that um, the universe is going to align you in the direction that you're destined to go, okay? When the time comes, then the right person will enter your life because you'll be more wiser, you'll be a little bit more healed, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to think more logically. You're not going to think emotionally to where, like, you're just picking and choosing the whatever guy comes your way or girl. Like, we don't want that, right? We want the right person for us. So, taking the necessary steps is just like the past person, right? If you're not loving yourself, if you're not healing yourself, then you're just going to settle for anything that comes your way, and we don't want that. So, take the proper steps, and let's get working.